So this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I've loaded it up with applications, I've tested its thermals, its battery, even accidentally its strength. I've taken 435 photos with this camera. So here's what I think. I still remember picking the phone up for the first time just a few weeks ago and thinking they've done it. This is how an ultra phone should feel. And even now that the dust has settled, every time I take this out of my pocket, I'm internally nodding my head thinking, yeah, this feels right. It could do with being a bit less slippery, and the huge camera module does get in the way a bit when trying to game, but I'm nitpicking. For me, it's almost perfect. And I could say that about a lot of things with this phone. The size feels just right. I wouldn't make it bigger because it only just fits in my hand, but I also wouldn't make it smaller, because when you've used a screen like this, you don't want to go back. The thickness feels just right, and though it might not look like it, the weight is surprisingly evenly distributed. The bezels have practically disappeared, the S Pen has finally achieved its original objective of feeling truly like pen on paper, although I am still confused as to why they shifted it to the left of the phone, and the screen is so bright that I couldn't even find a lighting condition in which it wasn't clearly visible. This display genuinely is a masterpiece. You set a good wallpaper on this phone and it feels like you're holding an edgeless digital tapestry. And interacting with it is a joy too, because Samsung's haptics are amazing. Plus, it comes with some of the best news that Samsung has ever announced with a new phone, that these phones are gonna get three years of guaranteed software updates. Compared to the S20 Ultra earlier this year, they've toned down their marketing, they've toned down their claims, they've toned down their price, while at the same time actually delivering more value. So what I'm trying to say here is that this feels like, and I don't use this term lightly, a perfect Samsung phone. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video, by the way, a sub to the channel would be phenomenal. Take the cameras. Now, admittedly, it is tough to get excited about a camera that's almost the same as the one on a phone I ditched a few months ago, but this has one important perk over the S20 Ultra, in that the camera feels lighter, faster shutter speed, quicker, less janky zooming, and way faster focusing thanks to the new laser autofocus module. Not perfect focusing still, but far better. Plus, the phone itself is just physically less heavy, so that contributes to this feeling of lightness. The selfies are good too, aided further by the fact that you can now hold your phone further away than normal and still take a photo by using the S Pen. So these are actually some of the widest selfies you can get right now. It's still not as reliable as the iPhone camera when you're taking portraits, for example, but 98% of the time that I've taken this phone out to capture something, I've been at least satisfied with the result. The 2% of times where I did have a problem were often just because of how this 108 megapixel sensor produces images. Because it has a very narrow plane of focus, I found myself a few times taking photos of things that are closer up, thinking I'd got it completely in focus, when actually a part of it is ever so slightly out of focus. It's a camera system that, while I'm sure it could be better, and one where I'm sure they will find ways to improve it in the future, I've got very little to complain about. In fact, probably my biggest complaint is just the fact that it doesn't seem to know when to switch to the telephoto camera. See, when you're zooming into things, it should switch as soon as you pass five times zoom to maintain quality. But sometimes I've had to get to 11 times zoom before the phone finally realizes, oh yeah, we should probably change lenses now. Also, massively underrated feature is the new Samsung DeX. This went from first needing a specialized dock just to work, to then needing just a cable, to now needing nothing. And it's probably one of the use cases that truly shows the power of the phone. Being able to show your photo album while playing a YouTube video and doing five other things at the same time really is quite cool. However, the reason I say this is a perfect Samsung phone and not just a perfect phone is that I do have problems with it. There are things I don't like and pretty much all of those things are just Samsung being Samsung. Like how they choose to add these sharp corners on the Note phones to distinguish them from the S phones. And they do make the phone a bit jabby. Like this how is not the camera a smartphone does as you take know amazing it. photos, but how it insists on smoothing out faces. This when is Galaxy Note 20 shots. Ultra. Like the fact that Samsung software seems the first intent to merge a pen you with a phone. Every single Samsung service Galaxy available. Note is the power it just phone that in so forever changes how so you work and play. Content, Today's new normal demands a new device. So, we made one. And straight out of 2014, bringing first of its kind innovation to mobile okay. for a new way to collaborate. This is not work as you know it. What I can only this is, is the career. power of a computer also, suite in your Samsung hand. Just made their phones quite Smart, confusing. fast and efficient. Some regions, S Pen does phone. what your computer others, can't. It's a 5G. With three some times faster latency, it responds just like a real pen, except it's got a brain. If your ideas start to take a turn, Note 20's AI uses millions of sample sentences to keep them right on track. Hi, what do you need? 
Others you'll get one and Audio bookmark I lets you sync audio to the like notes you take, so that you can LTV replay variant, and pick up whatever you miss. Sets, they're asking for 1920 by 1080. Coupling S Pen's brain power with Samsung Notes and MS integration, Note 20 does what your desktop doesn't. Now you can convert your notes to PowerPoint and share right from your account. Open your notes on tablet. Otherwise, or laptop, you're kind of looking at a different even sync to one note so and outlet to, to keep in the all your UK thoughts that up to date. Do you want to add anything? Is not Better yet, unleash your Day mobile apps on the like PC using linked windows, Ultra drag and drop files from your phone on your desktop, side side with a order lunch, Exynos catch up, run multiple mobile apps at once. You can even toggle across all your devices. I mean, the note was ahead, but since life isn't just about work, you need the power to play. This is not just mobile gaming. This is Xbox gaming on your phone. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate gives you 100 plus Xbox games without download. So the takeaway of all of this is now you can say what you want the note versus with who you want. And actually, right off Thanks the bat, we can get rid of the S20 Ultra just because of how this Behind is similar, the scenes lies the only the phone camera Pro with pro-grade video. The is actually pretty similar spec-wise and does charge way faster than the Note. But I would side with Samsung mostly because Shoot 8K the with movie-like features that lets you change well, the zoom the speed the and better, skip the editing and the process. And the form factor is way nicer. All but from your phone. Quite a close one, I really Take the complete mega control of sound design with audio mic. The Note's cameras are also far more reliable than Sony's Xperia 1 2. So let's drop that. And we can also remove the Xiaomi. As for the time or being, use Buds Live on Bluetooth only. mode as a mic for extra clarity. Mm -hmm. so, then simply the point your Note 20 Ultra to another and phone share phone your less. masterpiece with UWB Max, technology. Is it's that easy. Choice, although it might make sense at the stage to wait. You can watch on the big screen with Samsung Dex's wireless connection and do two things at once right now, without interruption. This is not mobile tech as we know it. This is the this power is of performance. Note 20 Ultra's 120Hz display is super smooth, making it easier to see what's in your screen. And you get hours of screen time from just minutes of super fast charge. A full charge in the morning takes you into the night. This is not like any phone you have. And in fact, actually, I'm kind of curious, it's anything but. Where do you go from here? What is Samsung this going is the to ultimate power phone. Because of how the power tech, to work and the power to play. Everything. This is Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and further, Note 20 Ultra. The refresh rate higher for quite a long time. So I guess I'm just kind of curious where Samsung is going to take these phones in the future, such that they're still keeping the average consumer in the game. Because it feels so close to the perfect hardware that we imagined when smartphones started. Maybe it'll be through foldables, maybe something else entirely. But for now, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is a go, especially if you can get the Snapdragon version. If you enjoyed this video, a sub would be incredible. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.